Hey guys, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today I'm going to be talking all about the fabric formula of Mod Podge. This is the blue label, and it is one of my favorite formulas. It allows you to attach fabric to fabric, and it is a machine washable. So let's talk about what this formula is like. First of all, I wanna go ahead and open it up, and I'm going to show you that this is a much thicker formula than your regular Mod Podge. It doesn't even pull out like that. So this formula is nice and thick. It's going to attach your fabric to fabric. I don't recommend um, watering it down. You're going to want to apply it when it's thick like that. To prep out your fabrics, you're going to want to pre-wash your fabrics and don't use any dryer softener. So don't use any of that liquid softener or those dryer sheets. You wanna remove the sizing from your fabric so that it really sticks well. Now, what can you use this on? I know we can do fabric to fabric. You can see here, I've even done doilies onto this denim. You can do this for so many different fashion crafts. I'm gonna throw up a bunch of pictures so you can see some of the things that we've made over the years. This is also really cool for home decor, like lampshades like this. Look at how fun and cool that is. That's just fabric right onto a lampshade. Now, my favorite way to do this is using cutouts. I've done this on tons of hats over the years, even shoes. You can see all of the fun project pictures. Now for this project I'm gonna show you today, I'm gonna to show you how you take a canvas makeup bag or snack bag. A lot of people are using these in their totes to fill with snacks or trinkets that you might be taking along with you. I'm gonna show you how to do the applique method. That means we're gonna be cutting out the uh, graphic from the fabric, but you could do this same technique like I have here on this tote bag where I've done one whole piece of fabric. Now I've also used the fabric Mod Podge to attach that trim. So you can really use this for any fabric. And we are doing fabric to fabric, but you can do it on fabric to metal, you can do it on fabric to wood, you can do it on fabric to canvas shoes. The design ideas are endless. So I've gone ahead, I'm going to cut out my fabric. When I'm cutting out my fabric appliques, I like to use a very sharp scissor. And we're just gonna go in and do some fussy cutting. Fussy cutting to me is when you're getting close to the edge of the design. And if you have a nice sharp pair of scissors, you should be able to just sort of wiggle your hand around as you cut out that design. And again, you could cut a rectangle and have that fit directly onto your little zipper bag. Now these zipper bags, let's talk about those. Those are called blanks, and these blanks like this are available at almost all the craft stores, and you can buy them in bulk or wholesale online at different retailers. So those are really fun. Let's say you've got a party, you know, and you wanna do a bunch of matching party favors or bridal favors or things like that. That's a really cool way to make a custom look just by making some fabric appliques. You can cut letters out if you wanted to customize these, like with, you know, let's say you wanna make something for Lori. You could just cut an L from this fabric and put that L down. So however you wanna do it, you can do it. So let's go ahead and cut this all the way. And one more thing I wanna say is that 100% cotton fabric does work best, but I have used flannels, corduroys, and wools with pretty good results. You wanna make sure you have real wool and not uh, polyester wool. Polyester fabrics and silks do not work well. Okay, we've got our fussy cutting done. You can see how quick that is. Our fussy cutting is done and we are ready to add our first applique down. And for this design, I think I'm going to just do it right there on the corner and we will wrap it around the edges. So for my brush, you can use a variety of brushes. And certainly if you have a foam brush at home, that's gonna work awesome too. But I really like to use one of these one inch type brushes like this. It has a nice good surface there. And let's talk about that formula. We're gonna dip in, look at how thick. If you're used to your regular Mod Podge, this is gonna be a really different feeling for you. So we're gonna do fabric to fabric today. But like I was saying, we can do this applique right onto a piece of wood if we wanted to. We could do it onto ceramics like clay pots. Really designs are endless. So I'm going in the center and feathering out the Mod Podge to the edge. 
and I'm making sure that I'm really getting those edges. You want a nice even coat and you can tell that it's not a super thick coat. It's not like completely white and cloudy, but you can see the back of the graphic a little bit through there. So we're just gonna keep adding just like so. Now this is machine washable. I'm gonna be honest, I usually hand wash most of my Fabric Mod Podge projects, but I hand wash a lot of my delicates and I would consider something like this along the lines of a delicate project. Delicate in that you don't wanna wash it in hot water or bleach it, things like that. Okay, I think we are pretty good here. I also wash in cold. The bottle has all the proper instructions on there. And of course, at plaidonline.com, you can find all of the information for all of the Mod Podge formulas. Okay, now you can see I've got all my edges done and my center, and we're gonna go ahead and just place it right onto the zipper bag. So let's pick up our fabric. I'm gonna peel that up. Position that down. And you want to start in the center and tap and smooth. And I'm going to wrap around like so because I want that sort of look like it's just going off the edge, almost like a canvas. And go ahead and smooth and press all of those edges down real good. sure all of those are good let's say oop looks looks like I need a little bit more there that's okay you can just peel it up add a little bit more of your Mod Podge just like so and then tap it back down so at this point I would normally let this sit and dry for about 20 minutes just so it gets uh, stuck down and and when I'm putting a top coat on it doesn't wiggle on me but I'm gonna go ahead and show you top coating just for the sake of time so it's down really good and at this point, if you were never gonna wash this project and you just wanted to have it like this, you would just let it dry for 72 hours and you would be good to go. You can embellish it further by adding some fabric paint over it, you could stitch over it, you could glue buttons on it, all kinds of things. Now, if this is a project that you want to machine wash, then you are gonna want to top coat. We're gonna top coat with the same formula, only this time I'm gonna be a little bit thinner with it. I'm gonna still start in that center and I'm gonna have my brush strokes trying to go all in the same direction, just like so. And for the top coating, I do a very thin coat. And again, you're gonna let this dry. And I say cure, you're gonna want it to cure for 72 hours. And then you can machine wash in cold and line dry. So line dry or flat dry. So let's go ahead and get that top coated you can see it looks all like milky, right? But it's gonna dry perfectly clear, so you don't have to worry. When I'm doing this, I'm going around and I'm catching those edges. Let's take a close up look at that. So I'm just catching those edges just to make sure. Now, if I was just making something for the home, like a seasonal pillow or something like that, I might not even do the top coating on a project like that because I probably wouldn't be machine washing it or a lampshade, I'm not gonna be machine washing. So many of those projects are going to be incredibly durable just with the Mod Podge as your glue. So go ahead and get that down. And you can see that's how quick you can customize a bag. So I wanna share with you a bunch of different design ideas and I'm gonna to toss up some pictures of everything from fashion, hats and shoes to home decor looks that you can do with fabric Mod Podge. Now does this replace your gloss mat or satin that you would use on your paper projects? Yes, it's a completely different formula. So if you're doing fabric to fabric, you don't wanna use your regular paper formulas. You wanna make sure you're using that fabric formula. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about Fabric Mod Podge. Remember, it's a 72 hour cure time. You can do anything from these little bags to totes, to jean jackets, to home decor. And I hope that you enjoy working with this formula. I'll be back here next week with another fun project to share with you. And until then, have a super crafty day.